Hello, I'm Christian, a German psychologist. I like to deal with the history of autism in these sessions on YouTube. Now, in my second session, I like to present life and career of Leo Kenner, one of the two first descriptors of autism. Leo Kenner was born in 1894 in a small town on the territories of today's Ukraine in Galicia, which was then Austria-Hungary, a multinational state. Kenner grew up with the languages Polish and Rutanic. Rutanic was a precursor language of today's Ukrainic. His family moved to Berlin in 1907, where they ran a hotel and Kenner learned German and French in school. He was a very good student and would have liked to become a writer, but began studying medicine before the First World War and was then recruited to a medicine battalion with which he moved as a soldier back to Galicia where he met the daughter of his mother's nephew called Junior Levin. After the war Kenner completed his medical studies and returned to Galicia and brought with him his junior back to Berlin, where he worked as a general practitioner in his own practice and, because he was so clever, helped dentists with their doctoral thesis. Kenner met an American in 1923 who offered him a job in America. Since Kenner was Jewish, his job prospects were low in Germany, even at that time before the Nazis came into power. So he decided to immigrate with his little family. He was now father of a little daughter. And they moved into the Corn Belt of the USA to Jenkton, South Dakota. Kenner worked for the Jenkton Hospital, uh, which was more or less a detention center for recalcitrant Indians. Only a few years after Kenner had ceased working there, the institution was closed due to violations against the law. But for Kenner it was the first step into psychiatry. He adapted well, but his wife was bored because she had to spend the whole day with the other wives of the other doctors. And so Kenner applied to Adolf Meyer in 1928 when Meyer was the president of the American Psychiatric Association, a very prestigious position which one held only once in a lifetime for one year. After a long wait, Kenner was offered the job and he moved with his family to Baltimore in Maryland and worked with Meyer at the Johns Hopkins University. Kenner learned psychiatry from the bottom up. He visited the lectures of his boss Meyer, who was very experienced, but he was not able to structure his lectures very well. That was something that Kenner was good at. He made his notices and worked them up and was then able to publish the first book on child psychiatry in America in 1935. It was an immediate success. The book remained in press for 67 years and gave Kenner the reputation as father of the American child psychiatry. Since Kenner examined autistic children more closely up from the mid-30s, it can be said that autism has been the focus of child psychiatry from the very start. After years of intense studies studying, Kenner was able to publish his 
famous article, Autistic Disturbances of Effective Contact in a newly designed journal, The Nervous Child, in 1943. It based on the examinations of 11 children and contains six features of autism. A profound, a profound lack of effect or emotional contact with others, an intensive wish for sameness in routines, muteness or abnormality of speech, fascination with manipulating objects, high levels of visuospatial skills but major learning difficulties in other areas, and an attractive alert and intelligent appearance. To this day, the article has lost little of its topicality. It has been used to design the diagnostic criteria for childhood autism, which was named after Kenner, the Kenner syndrome. These days, it seems particularly topical again since one of Kenner's main criteria did not appear in the manuals for diagnostic for many years and has now been taken up again in the American manual DSM-5, the wish for sameness that leads autistic individuals to react with stress to changes in their routines. However, in the years after the Second World War, three of Kenner's mistaken assumptions caused a lot of fuss and trouble. I would like to report on this in my third session. Now find me in the internet and you can read all this once again. Ciao.